A question we get asked a lot is, what happens if my insurance company goes bankrupt? What if my insurance company goes into receivership? Am I out of luck with my property insurance claim? The answer is no. There is a safety net out there for you, and it's called the Florida Insurance Guarantee Association, or FIGA, F-I-G-A. Now, back in the early 1970s, legislature saw that, hey, there could be a problem coming up with property insurance companies, so they put together an association called the Florida Insurance Guarantee Association, which would help pay the claims that were came out of uh, insurance companies going insolvent. So they created FIGA, and what happens in essence is if your insurance company goes insolvent or can't pay its claims or somehow otherwise gets in financial trouble, FIGA steps in and assumes all the outstanding claims of that now insolvent or bankrupt insurance company. Now, in order to have a claim with FIGA, your loss needs to have happened prior to uh, your insurance company going into receivership or within 30 days after that date of the insurance company going into bankruptcy or receivership. If your loss happened after that, too, too bad because you're too late. I mean, once that insurance company goes into receivership, your policy is gone but some of your insurance claims may still you know, exist as long as they happen before the date of receivership or within 30 days afterwards. Uh, the question arises, well, where does FIGA get all this money to pay these claims? Well, you know, FIGA works kind of like a bankruptcy court and FIGA steps in and takes all the assets of the insurance company that went and solved it, whatever they might be, because insolvent doesn't mean it has no money. It just means that there's more claims or more expenses or whatever overhead than they have money to pay. So the insurance company, FIGA, comes in and takes all the assets of the now insolvent uh, insurance company. It has that money. It has money from surcharges because FIGA has a surcharge on every insurance policy in the state to get additional money to pay these claims. Um, and it has this money, and it'll pay the claims that come into FIGA from these insolvent insurance companies. Now, does that mean you're going to get a great result from FIGA on your insurance claim? Nah, probably not. This is insurance company. Understand FIGA is kind of like parachute last resort um, for bankrupt insurance companies. So, you know, it's kind of like I tell my kids, when you're dealing with FIGA, it's like you get what you get, and you're happy with it, okay, because it's better than nothing. Um, so what happens, there's certain deadlines in the FIGA process. Once the claim, even if you have an ongoing claim with your old insurance company, which no longer exists, even if you have a claim with them, you have certain deadlines within which to file a new claim with that FIGA entity. And then from that deadline date, they tell you when it is, okay? But if you don't meet that date they give you to file a new claim with FIGA, you might just be out of luck. So it's very important to follow the dates uh, that FIGA gives you as far as the claim process. So you file your claim with FIGA and you go through a normal process. You can dispute, you know, FIGA's findings, whether that's to valuation of the claim or denials and that kind of stuff. But, you know, like I say, you're dealing with a, you know, last ditch entity here. So you may not have too much success, but it's worth a shot to try to dispute it. Now, important to know that even though you filed your new claim with FIGA, you only have one year from the date of dissolution to file a lawsuit against them, okay? So even though you go to FIGA, you try to work with FIGA to resolve your claim, if you think you wanna file a lawsuit against them, you only have one year within which to do that. So it's very important to watch the guidelines, watch the deadlines, and to really to get professional help when dealing with the FIGA. Not mental health, but legal or public adjuster help uh, when dealing with FIGA. So also keep in mind, FIGA um, has a $100 deductible, no big deal. Um, but it has a $300,000 limit as to how much they'll pay, okay? So, you know, many claims are worth a lot less than $300,000, so no big deal. But if you have a catastrophic claim to your house that's beyond $300,000, you may be out of luck for that money beyond that $300,000 limit. Um, long story short, with FIGA, understand you're not totally out of luck, okay? So you have options. You will get money on your, on your claim. You know, FIGA does adjust the claim, the same as any other insurance company. Um, it's not the best scenario, but it is a good scenario, better than getting nothing if it was like a true bankruptcy and you get nothing as a creditor. So you are going to get your claim paid, but it's going to be very complicated, and you have to make sure that you comply with all the deadlines, because if you don't, you really will be out of luck.